Hey everyone. Okay, so I'm going to show you really quickly how I made the um, this little um, sentiment tag. I um, used Emma's um, tag die, this one that has a scallop on the bottom. And when I originally made this card, I was going to use the tag die, but as you can see, it's a little bit too big. It was a little bit too big for what I wanted, um, and there was quite a bit of room on each side of the sentiment, so I wanted to figure out a way to um, make the tag part a little bit smaller, but not lose the stitching. I didn't want to lose the stitching effect. So I'm going to show you today how to do that. I'm going to do it for this card that I've made, and as you can see, um, this is kind of big. It would work, but it's a little too big for what what I want. I'm going to um, cut it down a little bit. So I'm going to put that aside really quick, and I'm going to show you how I do it. So you're going to need your cuddle bug or big shot or something. And you're going to need a um, an A plate and then a C plate. Mine's pretty beat up, so but a C plate. And then you'll take your piece of paper. I'm going to do it in this pink. And I want to just cut out the scallop tag, so I'm going to put that over to the side here. And then my B plate goes on last. And actually, I don't have to cut, because I really only want the bottom part of the tag, I don't have to cut the entire tag out, so I'm going to move this up like that. See how I'm just cutting a smaller piece of the paper instead of cutting the entire tag, because I'm not going to use this part of the tag. I don't need to cut it out. <clears throat> Once I pull that out, then I just pull off the paper from the, the die, and this is what I have. I have the just the bottom part cut out of the tag, and what I want to do is I only want... If I look at the die, I only want the first one, two, three, four, five. I want, I'm going to cut these two scallops off. So I'm going to lay my die face down, or my die cut, face down into the die. And I'm going to make sure that it fits in. It's in the scallops perfectly. And then I'm going to place my A and C plate. And if you wanted to put a little piece of tape to keep it in place, you could. Um, it, it basically stays in place. But if you're worried about it moving, um, you could place a, place a little piece of tape there. Oh. get this all on here. Okay, so now you can see that, oops, sorry about that. You can see that when you pull this off, I have a much smaller scalloped bottom tag that still has all the same stitching in it that it did before, which is what I wanted. So now I can take my sentiment, and I'm using the new stamp set that Emma just released called Very Special Thoughts. 
and the sentiment I'm going to use says, have a very special day. <coughs> Center it on there. Just like that. Oops, sorry. There you go. Just like that. And um, that's all I'm going to do. Um, it makes it um, those dies much more versatile when you are able to use them and make different size tags with them. And probably what I'll do next is measure how far down I want this to be. Probably like that. I'll probably put some twine or something up on the top and then um, cut that out and attach it. So anyway, that's my tip for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.